Okay, so here is the Funhouse set F9002 with 1,248 pieces, age 12 plus. It is Jack and the Beanstalk, part of their fantasy series. And yeah, this looks pretty nice. This is a kind of re-released version of one of their earlier sets with some new improved building techniques. So this will be pretty exciting. And of course, like every Funhouse set, it does come with a light kit included. Let's open it up and see how many bags we got inside. So the first thing I noticed is something you guys won't experience, but it's got this lovely new box smell. It just, I don't know how to explain it, but everything smells so new, <laughs> it's really nice. And obviously this set is kind of, you know, it's quite tall rather than being something wide, but the whole box as well, they changed it. They could have just left it the normal way. Same with the instruction booklet. It's like an actual book, it's upright. It could have been, you know, the usual kind of landscape flipped, but yeah. Just the one book, but that is a hefty book. Ooh. And of course, the light kit is inside this box. And then inside the instruction booklet, which are always very premium. So much better than some other brands out there. Of course, we've got the service card if you need to get in touch. There you go. You can scan that QR code for the after sales service process if you need any replacement parts or things like that. And then I think, as I saw it somewhere in here, is the sticker sheet. Is there a sticker sheet? And oh. Oh. Unless it's buried in the book, there might not be any stickers in the ship, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Hmm, that'd be good. And then, of course, we've got all the numbered bags. So many bags, as always. Wow. Let's lay them out and count how many we've got. Okay, so I don't think I have enough space to tip it out on my desk, but let's go. Let's tip it out here. Okay, not too many, which is nice. That means this should be a quicker build, because the last couple sets I built... There's been well over 2,000 pieces in each, and it's taken me multiple days. But this one, yeah, I'm mostly green parts, okay, but it doesn't look too bad. And here are all the bags laid out. And apart from some of them, again, as what seems to be a common thing with these fun house sets is I'm not too sure on the reasoning behind the bag distribution here because there are some parts where it's like, well, why couldn't these be in one bag or something like that? Like, why is there multiple like even with other brand sets you get multiple bags of the same number sometimes i get that that's fine it's just i don't know why they need to be split so much or for example bag six here there is only one bag six but there are multiples of everything else and then of course oh, if i reach over here bag 10 which is the one minifigure jack himself but you get to put him together but he's also in his own bag him i can understand but bag six don't really know why it's just got those few parts that's a little bit strange but I counted them, I think there was 25 or 26 bags in total, and then we've got just a bag full of some flex tubes here as well in different sizes and different colors of green. And just looking at all this, like I know it's mostly green because you know it's a beanstalk, it makes sense, but I feel like this is gonna be a really refreshing build. It's just gonna be nice and colorful and kind of go nicely. I, I can imagine myself displaying this in my room, so I think this would look quite nice. I guess I better get a move on and start my way through this extra thick instruction booklet. And one of my favorite things about Funhouse instruction booklets is just how they really, yeah, there's so much detail in here. They really put some thought into it. Obviously you've got your little description about what Funhole is and the story of the brand and things. You get that in all of the books, but this lovely artwork and set photos. It's just so nice. And a little bit about the inspiration, the story behind it. You got the, well, you got the story of Jack and the Beanstalk in here. So that's pretty cool. Then of course, yeah, package list for the LED lights, how to fix them if anything's not working properly, basic safety precautions, how to use a brick separator, which I'm sure many of us are familiar with, but you know, it's nice that it's in there. It just has such a premium feel. I mean, even the quality of it as well, it's not thin paper. And they got broken down into sections, what's making what bag, and then even just the steps. You know, they're easy enough to follow. There aren't too many steps on one page even just skipping ahead there. So I guess, yeah, maybe they could have saved a few pages if they did squeeze a few more steps onto here, but this just makes it so much easier to follow. But yeah, there we go. How many steps are in total, I wonder? Oh, I just turned to the back of the book and you can see some of the other sets by Fun Hole. That I've reviewed this one over here and Jake's reviewed this one over here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah, there we go. Fun Hole's very first set, which I did review there, the wood cabin. Very nice. And of course, I've also got, if you can just about see it, the A-frame cabin. I've got that one, so I'll be doing a video on that soon as well. But yeah, look at that steampunk ore train. That's pretty cool. Oh, looks like I might have spoiled it for myself. There's a secret door. Okay, I won't look at that too long. 
but it looks like we've got 328 steps. Yeah, okie dokie. Oh, and I've spotted something which I wasn't a fan of for the medieval period. Looks like it's happened again in this set, but hmm, I'll share my thoughts on that later in the review, but... So I've just opened up all of the bag number ones, ready to get building, and I've come across these. Now, obviously, the next brand you're going to compare any of this to would be LEGO. But I don't think LEGO makes these parts in this colour. This transparent, well, light blue or some sort. But I just really like seeing parts in like this transparent colours. It just, yeah, I like that. Off to a good start, I think. I've finished all of the bag ones, onto bag number two, and it looks like also my first light kit part. So yeah, the base is done, now we're starting to build the beanstalk, and obviously I'm guessing this represents Jack's home. Obviously we do get a minifigure, but this isn't minifigure scale, not really big. That's tiny, but it's nice that he's included, and I'm sure we'll get to him at the very end, because he's in the last bag. But it's coming together pretty quickly at the moment, I'm happy with it. And in case... I didn't show it earlier, here's what the inside of the light kit looks like. We've got the battery box, there's the brick separator, and the lights come in individual bags. We've got one, two, and only three bags, so it's a small light kit, it is the smaller set, and what's this? It's my favourite thing about the fun hole sets, it's the tweezers. These, just so good, such high quality, I love it. The battery box is pretty small compared to some of the ones I've had in previous sets, but again, this is only a smaller set, and it just uses three AAA batteries. So I've got to my first step where I need to include a light brick, and it says check lights. So I'm checking the light, and it works. That's good. There we go. Got the foundations of the beanstalk coming along. Yeah, and now it's about to get a whole lot chunkier. So I've just started bag four. Well, one of the bags of bag four, but here we are. Step 142 I'm now on. And then to get to bag five, I've got to get to step number 168, I believe. So just over another 20 pages, and I think... That's where I'm going to call it a day here, and then I'll pick up the rest tomorrow. But so far it's coming along pretty nicely, although there is an interesting feature to this that I didn't expect. Look at that, it's hollow in the middle. Hmm, strange. And then this part is actually hinged, so it's like a secret door, which I think I teased by the flicking through to the end of the instructions, but that's interesting. I wonder what's going to go in there. Maybe the battery box? I don't know. Well, here I am, step 168. Bag four is all finished, and I and I was tempted to start bag number five, but it's getting pretty late in the evening. I suppose that's the only trouble with starting a build later on in the day is that I'm just not going to finish it in one day, so I'll have to pick it up tomorrow, but that's okay. Yeah, just adding more bulk to the beanstalk. And the trouble with it being 99% green parts is when you tip them all out, it's like, oh god, where is it? What do I need? Where is it? Is it here somewhere? Am I missing it? No, it is there, but it just blends in with everything else. Okay, so it's the next evening now, and once again, I probably won't get much done tonight, because, well, when you come home from work, you don't have that much time after all, but hey, we got to build this, and it is an enjoyable build so far. And I used the sales card, the after-service sales card there, to use as a bookmark, because I didn't want to lose my place in this chunky instruction book. On to bags five and six. Not many parts in these, and bag six is just by itself, just the one, but let's go. So I was just flipping through the instructions just to see how many pages and how many steps I've got to go before I can move on to the next bag. I found it strange through this whole build process and this whole thing that there's only one bag for number six. So as I was looking through the instructions, I realized, hold on a minute, there are parts shown for bag six that I don't have. They're definitely not here. I thought, what? what's going on? Am I missing bags? I thought, oh no. I had to get in touch with Fun Hole. Like, sure, they would, like, they would send me the replacements, but that would just, you know, it takes time and things. I want to get it done. So then I had to double check through the bags I did have. And no, look at that. Turns out I can't read because there is a second bag number six. But I thought it was the number nine because the nine and the six, I mean, yeah, I looked at it wrong. So luckily I'm not missing any parts and everything is as it should be. Oh god, this is going to be a long and tedious step. Sorry about the shadows there, but <laughs> I've got to put all these chain links in. How many have I got? 42. Well, I guess it could be worse, but I had no idea this was going to be in the set. That's interesting. Not only does the set have a light kit and a secret compartment, but it's also got a mechanism. I didn't expect that. So, what is it going to raise? Because you can move it up and down using that crank there which turns the chain. It's a simple mechanism, but it's a, an effective one. Bam! 199 steps down, 126 pages, finished all the bag five. 
And we're on to bag number six with step 200. Here I am, day number three, on to bag seven. Hopefully I finish this today. I mean, it hasn't really taken me like three days in total. I've just spread it across three days. If I actually had the time to build it all in one day, I probably would have got it all done in one day, but that's okay. You know, spread out the fun. So here we are, step 227, on to bag seven, page 152. Let's get this done. So as you can see here, I'm placing the kind of connector point for all the different lights. And the instructions tell you, I don't know if you can kind of see it there, to place it over two different bricks, which I, I'm not a fan of, because if I do take this part, I mean, I probably never will, but let's say if I do, then obviously that's going to be a bit annoying. It's not great. But I managed to just stick it onto just one brick. So if, again, if I do take it apart, it's, at least it's together and it won't come unstuck or anything and I know what that's part for so it's okay but it's not as well hidden as I would have liked so far maybe it will get covered up but otherwise before this point this set looked great from all sides so maybe it won't look so good with that sticking out but I guess you'll find out in my final review so stay tuned for that here it is bag number eight looks like we're building the castle on top of the beanstalk because the platform is complete and there's the lights on, but you can't quite tell how effective they are. Because I mean, it's a, it's a sunny day and the sun is shining through the blinds. But yeah, pretty happy with it so far. Although I did find the last kind of few steps a little more challenging. And I wasn't paying attention to the instructions clearly. Because I kept putting things in the wrong place. And I double checked thinking, hmm, is it me or is it the instructions? And yeah, no, it was, it was me. I managed to fix everything in the end. Okay, here we go. We're on to the final real bag numbers. Number nine, step two. 9-9, nine, nine. but otherwise the beanstalk and the castle on top is pretty much finished. Now we're just going back to add some extra details and more greenery. Here we go. I am really enjoying this. So I've just come across this piece. Now it might look like a regular one by one circular plate, but actually, take a closer look, it's double sided. Other brands don't do this, but it's such a very useful part. For the most part, the instructions are pretty accurate in showing what parts you need, but in this instance, I'm not so sure. As you can see, it's showing three different shades of green for these leaf elements, and these are the only three in this bag, but the colours don't quite match up. To me, it looks like we've got dark green, sand green, and olive green, but the parts have got a regular green, sand green, and, well, lime green, I suppose? So, yeah, I'm not quite sure there, but... Well, here we go, 320 steps, and 251 pages later, Jack and the Beanstalk is finished. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got one bag left. It's Jack himself. Well, this is a little unexpected because I've got four arms and six hands. Poor Jack here has only got space for, well, you know, the, the standard amount of legs and arms and hands. So, um, maybe the, the rest of these parts are the remains from, you know, dealings with the giant? I don't know. There he is, Jack and his beanstalk and a pile of arms and hands as well. Although, given the scale of this set, and how it isn't minifigure scale, really, Jack is probably more like the giant, given the whole thing. Let's put him at the castle and see what he looks like. Okay, he's even a little big for the castle. I guess if you think about it, the castle was probably smaller in scale compared to his house. I, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I'll save the rest of my thoughts for my review. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this kind of little unboxing build vlog. And as I've teased throughout, a full review of this set will be coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. And thanks again for Funhole for sponsoring this video. If you do want to pick up the set yourself, don't forget to check out all the links in the description and use code DAILYWEEKLYBUILDS to get 10% off your order. Well, I guess I can finally close this book and get ready to build this one over here, the A-Frame Cabin.